Blender is becoming more of a 3D software for animators because it is getting better with every update, especially in the last 4 years or so. The thing is, Blender has proven itself with the open movie projects that the Blender Studio has created. In addition to many animation projects like Next Gen by Netflix and I Lost My Body movie in which Blender played a big role. However, as a solo animator using Blender, you will probably need some additional tools or add-ons that can help you work faster, smarter, and get better results. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at these tools that can help you as an animator these days. I wanted to let you guys know that the Blender market is having right now a huge winter sale with 25% discount on thousands of Blender products from add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the best add-ons and courses that can take your projects to the next level. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So if you are a Blender animator, I highly recommend this top tier solution for rigging characters in Blender, known as AutoRig Pro. It is focused on speed by offering smart features to simplify the process for you. Generally speaking, Using it makes rigging a character very easy and you can do it in a short period of time, as it works by simply placing a couple of green markers on top of your model. And that's it. This helps you achieve editable results that are easily fine-tuned to your liking, but keep in mind that this feature works only for humanoid characters. However, AutoRig Pro isn't limited to humanoid characters since it also provides manual tools for rigging non-humanoid characters such as animals. Also, you can easily adjust and rig various parts of the model, including fingers, wings, toes, spine bones, multiple neck bones, and more. There is so much more that this add-on offers, like the ability to rig dresses and skirts in addition to eye case blinds. And it also comes with a feature to add corrective shape keys, joint fans, child of constraints, and so much more. By the way, we recently made a video about the story behind this add-on and how it became successful, and the thought process of the developer in making this add-on, and I highly recommend you take a look at it. Now, if you want to improve your process of animation, there is Animation Layers, which is an add-on that introduces a simple yet very effective workflow when working with curves and keyframes. This one has been around for many years now, and animators love it. From what I can see, it can be a valuable add-on for you as a Blender animator, because it streamlines the NLA editor into a standard layer workflow which enhances control and efficiency by allowing for an easy layering, merging, baking, and duplication of animations. And if this sounds good, you're right because it is. Generally speaking, the add-on offers intuitive tools for managing layers and keyframes, including shape keys and cyclic actions, as well as features like Smart Bake and Keyframe Extraction. In addition, it offers options for library overrides and editing multiple layers at the same time. As of recent updates, the add-on introduced a new feature called Share Layer Keys, which synchronizes keyframes across layers by automatically generating empty keyframes at matching frame positions. Still with animation add-ons, I'm gonna suggest the Ultimate Animator Bundle, which is a set of 5 add-ons that makes animating a whole lot easier. You can get them separately, but I think this is the most value for the money kinda of deal. These add-ons offer many tools for managing your curves in the graph editor, like Amplify for adjusting the intensity, as well as a tool for offsetting your keyframes automatically. In addition, you can loop your curves and adjust the looping range, randomize them, line on holds, and so much more. Another nice feature is the Fade tool, which helps you fade in and out of animations using standard ease functions. Also, there are more features to manage your keyframes in the interface. For instance, you can delete static channels that are not doing anything other than filling up your space in the graph editor. You can also copy animation data from one object to many, also edit multiple keyframes at once from the interface, and easily create and delete keyframes for selected objects and material properties at the same time, which is interesting. 
Another interesting thing is the next add-on called Face It, which tackles one very specific aspect of rigging, and that is rigging faces, as its name indicates. This add-on is really popular, with thousands of sales and many top reviews, but the thing is, in addition to facial rigging, it can also do motion capture and animation, offering plenty of tools that can be used non-destructively using a semi-automatic workflow. When it comes to using the add-on, it's really easy, and it is as easy as placing and scaling your face it landmarks to fit your character's face. After doing that, you can take a seat and watch it as it automatically detects and generates facial expressions based on your character's face. And the best part is, you can load any facial expressions from our kit, audio to face, tongue, or phonemes preset. This means that you can easily import motion capture footage all inside Blender, or you can choose to create your own. Faceit also comes with a control rig that is compatible with all mocap utilities. In addition, it has powerful retargeting tools to specify and select which shape keys to be animated. Now we're gonna talk about a very unique add-on called Voxel Heat Diffuse Skinning, which is a game changer for creating weight maps in Blender. The add-on simplifies the process of generating perfect vertex weights for complex characters. And unlike the built-in heat map algorithm, Voxel Heat Diffuse Skinning can handle non-seamless meshes effortlessly. So it works by converting non-seamless characters into solid volumes, which helps to produce natural and accurate weight maps. It also addresses issues with Blender's bone heat weighting, offering corrective smooth baking to automate the process. And I think what sets this add-on apart is that it uses advanced ray tracing technology, providing better results than traditional voxelization. Plus, it offers a range of adjustable parameters to fine-tune weight maps, giving you as a user full control over settings like voxel resolution and influence bones. This, in addition to many other stuff that you might find useful. Now, did you see how VFX artists create realistic animals and stuff with realistically moving muscles underneath the skin? Like what you can see with tools such as Ziva VFX from Ziva Dynamics and Tissue from Wada Digital. While the add-on called X Muscle System is the closest thing to that in Blender. It was specifically designed to optimize the creation of muscle systems and organic objects in the software. So its primary goal is to enhance skin surface deformations by preserving the volume of muscles, fat, and skeletal bones, making all of these complex tasks a couple of clicks away, which is very useful I must say. So this add-on offers a couple of convenient features when working with muscles and tissues. Thanks to its flexor and extensor muscle types, sculpting biceps and triceps can never be easier. Also, the x mirror option ensures perfect symmetry in tissue shape, properties, and behavior, saving you both time and effort. Additionally, it comes with muscle pinning and bendy muscle features, which allows for the creation of advanced and realistic muscle systems automatically. And the good thing, if you decide to purchase this add-on, you will gain access to some cool anatomy bundles for human male and female skeletons, as well as a couple of animal skeletons, which you can use to work on your projects and do some fun stuff. Now, if you want to make animation physics, I recommend Bone Dynamics Pro, which is a Blender add-on that simplifies the task of adding physics simulation for bones, enabling realistic effects like cloth, chains, and jiggles. It is also packed with lots of features. For instance, you can tweak multiple bones parameters and you can do that on the fly, giving you advanced control and allowing for precise adjustments during the animation process. Also, the add-on offers collision detection for realistic interactions and easy setup, in addition to the ability to stretch bones and create bone chains, which enables the creation of complex structures and dynamic deformations which can be interesting for a lot of different things. And we can't forget that the add-on utilizes soft body physics under the hood, which ensures realism without being too complex. And from the same developer of Bone Dynamics, we have another add-on called Simply Cage, which you can think of as a complementary add-on from Bone Dynamics Pro. What this add-on does is it helps to generate collision boxes and physics cages from mesh bones or vortex groups of your objects. 
Generally speaking, the interface is user-friendly, with toggles for input and output options, as well as advanced settings, including cloth presets and simulation management. Using Simply Cage is kind of straightforward, because you just need to select the mesh and specify the input or output, then create the collision, and you are good to go. Now, if you want to get help with one of the most important tricks of animation, which is ghosting, you can take a look at Ghost Tool, which helps to preview the animation of your objects and characters by displaying previous and next frames, allowing you to freely adjust and tweak the motion of your animation. Using this add-on is also easy. All you have to do is navigate through your timeline and manually select where you want to add a visible copy of your geometry, which will give you an onion skinning look. You can also select what you see in the viewport. For example, you can select only view actions that happen relative to your active frame or future actions and of course, you can choose to view all of the actions whether it be the previous or the next one. In addition, you can select the color and adjust the transparency of your current, previous and next frames, which can be really really useful. We also have a simple but useful add-on called Grab It. It is an add-on designed to simplify the process of attaching objects to other objects or characters and dropping them during or after the animation. Grabbit can simplify animating objects interactions with its intuitive features. So basically you can grab, parent, or drop objects at specific points in the timeline with automatic maker creation for tracking. The add-on also offers bone detection for grabbing objects in pose mode, along with options to clean markers and grab operations. Additionally, the add-on works smoothly with motion blur rendering, and it just has a small file size, in addition to other features. So guys, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, let's give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.